राम जय जय राम बोलो राम बोलो राम जय जय राम बोलो
Sita Pati Ram Chandra Ki Jai Sita Ram Devotees Shub Swagatam A very special welcome to you tonight on behalf of uh, our host Ruti Ram Logan and other members of this family as you join together in this one night uh, Rama in Satsang that we join together with members of this family in celebrating a wonderful occasion that passed us just on Shivratri night and that is the Janamdin of uh, Rauti and so we're here tonight at her home joining together with her and members of this wonderful family in devotion to Bhagwan Sri Ramchandra and of course this follows up earlier this morning she started puja very early this morning and of course this is now followed with uh, Rama in Satsang and so let us firstly dedicate our thoughts uh, to the Devis and Devatas as we Prepare ourselves to receive the divine charitra, the divine glories of Bhagwan Sri Ramchandra. Hari Om, Hari. Saraswati Namah Shri Guru Charan Kamali Yonamu Namah Om Pranmai Shirsha Devam Gauri Putram Vinayakam Bhaktava Samsmare Nityam Ayukam Arita Siddhaye Vidyaram Bhevi Vahicha Praveshya Nirgame Tatha Sangrame Sankate Chaiva Vidhana Tasya Najayate Om Shweta Paramasanam Devim Shweta Pushpo Pashubhinim Shvetaam Vardharam Nityam Shweta Gandhanule Panam ध्यान मूलम गुरुर मूर्ति पूजा मूलम गुरुर परम मंत्र मूलम गुरुर वाक्यम मोक्ष मूलम गुरुर परम अध्यान्त रहते देवी आदि शक्ति महेश्वरी 
योग जय योग संभूते महालक्ष्मी नमस्तुते ओम भद्रकाली नमो नित्यम सर्वशक्ति स्वरूपिनी जगत्स्थिते जगन्माता नारायणी नमस्ते नागेन्द्रहाराय त्रिलोचनाय भस्मांगरागाय महेश्वराय नित्याय शुराय दिगंबराय तस्म नकाराय नम शिवाय मनुजवंगतुल्य वेद जितेन्द्रिय बुद्धिमता वरिष्ठ वातात्मज वानरूज मुख्यम श्रीराम दूत शरण प्रभधे नीलांभुज श्यामलकोमलांगम सीता सारो प्रतिभाग्यम पानु महासायक चारु चापम नमा राम रघुवंशनाथ राम रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वीरसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताय पचिए नम ओम शांति 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 हरि अच्छा रिस्पॉन्स इन टाइम खरा हो जाए लेट इस ऑन स्टैंड फॉर आर माइन आरती वर्णनामृत संघान रसानाम छंदी मंगला कर्ता वंदेवाणी विरायको आरती श्रीरायण कली 
विमल हरणी विषय रस पीति सुभग सिंगार मुक्ति युग पीति हर निरोग भव मूरी तात मात सब दिदी तुलसी आरती श्री Sing together with you, so as we see the glass of the sea. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. सुबुलिशी गजानन स्वामी की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय शिव वृंदावन बिहारीलाल की जय उदय सा जगन्नाथ की जय बोलो भाई सब संतन की जय सियापति रामचंद्र की जय आसनी चाहिए कहीं भी सीटेड डिपोटीज सो वंस अगेन टू नाइट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ओवर होस्ट Ruti Ram Logan and other members of this wonderful family, let me extend to you a very special welcome to this uh, one night uh, Ram and Satsang. We join together in giving thanks to Bhagwan for the many beautiful gifts and blessings that He bestows upon us. And of course, as many of you may know, we join together in celebrating a very memorable occasion. In his home, and that is, of course, uh, Ravi's Janam Din, which has just gone by last Saturday on the Shivaratri observance. And so, as we begin our devotion, we join together firstly in paying our homage and respects to Lord Ganesh, glorifying Bhagwan Ganapati in a beautiful bhajan requested by Ravi, amongst many of the bhajans, in fact, that she has requested. So this first one, of course, glorifies Lord Ganesh, and it says, "For the blessings of Bhagwan Ganapati, all success comes to us, and the fulfilment of uh, all our auspicious undertakings comes to fruition when we have secured the blessings of uh, Ganesh Bhagwan." विघ्न हरण गौरी के नंदन सुनि सदा सुखदाई रे तो गणपति वी डू नॉट हैव द इंटेलिजेंस और द इंटेलेक्ट टू फुली कंप्रिहेंड योर डिवाइन ग्रेटनेस योर डिवाइन ग्लोरीज यू आर ओमनीपोटेंट एंड ओमनिशियन Your form and your appearance is very distinctive and divine. Vighana harana gauri ke nandana 
सुनिरी सदा सुखदाई रे तुलसीदास जो गणपति सुनिरे तुलसीदास जो गणपति सुनिरे कोटि विघ्न तन जाई रे वीर पुराण कथा से पहले जो सुनिरे सुखदाई रे अष्ट सिद्धि नव निधि लक्ष्मी मन इच्छा फल पाई रे सुख वरण प्रभु नारायण हे दुख हरण प्रभु नारायण हे त्रिलोकपति दाता सुख धाम स्वीकार पर नाम प्रभु स्वीकारो मेरे पर नाम त्रिलोकपति दाता सुख धाम स्वीकारो मेरे पर नाम प्रभु स्वीकारो मेरे पर जो शक्ति कहा जो महिमा तुम्हारी काम करे अगम अगोचर अधिकारी लेखो हरण हर शक्ति भरे हम और तो कुछ भी जानी ना केवल जाती आवन स्वीकारो मेरे पर नाम स्वीकारो मेरे पर नाम लोक पति दाता सुख नाम स्वीकारो मेरे पर नाम प्रभु स्वीकारो मेरे पर नाम और अंत तुम्हें और तुम ही आत्म अधारे हो भक्तों के तुम प्राण प्रभु इस जीवन के रखवारे हो तुमने जीवे जन में तुमने और अंत समय तुमने विश्राम स्वीकारो मेरे पर नाम स्वीकारो मेरे पर नाम त्रिलोकपति दाता सुख धाम स्वीकारो मेरे पर नाम प्रभु स्वीकारो मेरे पर नाम चरण कमल का ज्ञान भरु और प्राण करे सुमिरन तेरा दीनाश्रय दीना नाच प्रभु भव बंधन का तो करी मेरा शरणागत की श्याम हरि ये नाच मुझे तुमने का कान स्वीकारो मेरे पर नाम 
करो मेरे परिणाम त्रिलोक पति राधा सुख धाम स्वीकारो मेरे परिणाम प्रभु स्वीकारो मेरे परिणाम प्रभु स्वीकारो मेरे परिणाम चरण कमल का ध्यान धरु और प्राण करे सुमिरन तेरा मरी जाया ओ गणपति इस मेरिटेट अपॉन योर लोटस लाइक फीट अट योर फीट ओ प्रभु लाइज ऑल सक्सेस इन हैप्पीनेस एंड दैट सेंचुरी दैट वी सीक फ्रॉम द अपीवल एंड डेंजर्स ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड लाइज एट योर फीट At this stage, we also join together in chanting Hanuman Chalisa. Also requested by our Shrota that we begin by glorifying Sri Hanuman Swami. So this we would do. Let us all immerse our thoughts upon that most wondrous, beauteous form of Sri Pavan Putra Hanuman Ji. As we join together now in chanting Hanuman Chalisa. श्री गुरु चरण सरोज निज मन मुकुर सुधार वर्ण रघुवर विमल यश जोदायक फलचार बुद्धिहीन तनु जान के सुमिर पवन कुमार बल बुद्धि विद्या दे हर हूँ कलेश विकार जय हनुमान ज्ञान गुण सागर जय कपीश तिहुलोक पूजागर राम दूत अचुलित बल धामा अंजन पुत्र पवन सुत नामा महावीर विक्रम बजरंगी कुमति निवार सुमति के संगी कंचन वरण विराज सुविशा कानन कुंदन कुंचित ईशा आप वज्र अवजा विराज आधी मुझ जमीन साजे कर सुवन के शरी नंदन तेज प्रताप महा जगवंदन जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम विद्यावान दुनी अति छापुर राम काज कर देखो आपुर प्रभु चरित्र सुनते को रसिया रावण धन सीता मन कसिया सूक्ष्म रूप धर सियही दिखावा विकट रूप धर लंक जरावा भीम रूप धर असुर संहारे रामचंद्र की आज सवारे जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम लाई सजीवन लखन जियाए श्री रघुबीर हर शिवर लाए रघुपति की बहुत बराई तुम मम प्रिय भरत समी सहस वरण तुम्हारो यशदावे अस कहि श्रीपति तुम झल गावे सन का दुख ब्रह्मीशा नारद शाद सहित अधीशा जय सिया जय जय सिया राम 
कुबेर दिग पाल चाहते कभी कुबेर कहीं सके कहाते तुम उपकार सुग्रीव कीना राम निलाय राम जे पर दीना तुम्हारो मंत्र विभीषण माना लंकेश्वर हे सब जग जाना युग सहस्र योजन पर भानु लीलो ताही मधुर फल जानु जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम प्रभु मूत्र का नील मुख माही जल धिलांगी गए अचर जनाही दुर्गम काज जगत के जीते सुगम अनुग्रह तुम प्रीति दे राम द्वारे तुम रखवारे हो चना ज्ञानी कई सारे सब सुख ले है तुम्हारी शरणा तुम रक्षक का को दरना जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम आपन तेज समारो आ तीनों लोक हाथ के तापे भूत पिशाश विकट नहीं आवे महावीर जब नाम सुनावे ना से रोग हरे सब पीरा जपत निरंतर हनुमत पीरा संकट से हनुमान चुरावे मन कम वचन ज्ञान जोलावे जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम सब पर राम तपस्वी राजा इनकी काज सकल तुम साजा और मनोरथ जो कोई रावे सोई अनित जीवन फल पावे चारो युग पर पाप तुम्हारा है पर से जगत तुझियारा साधु संत के तुम रखवारे असुर कंदन राम दुलारे जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम सिद्धि नव निधि के दाता असवर दीन जान की माता राम सायन तुम्हारे पास सदा रहो रघुपति के दासा तुम्हारे भजन राम को पावे जन्म जन्म के दुख बिसरावे काल रघुवर पुर जाई जहा जन्म हरिभक्त कहाई जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम और देवता चिकन धरई हनुमत से सर्व सुख करई संकट तते मिते सब पीरा जो सुनिरे हनुमत बल दीरा जय 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 हनुमान गुसाई कृपा करो गुरु देव की नाई जो सत बार पाठ कर कोई छूट बंधी महा सुख हो जो यह पढ़े हनुमान चलीसा हो इसे भी साखी गौरीसा तुलसीदास सदा हरि चेरा की जय नाथ हृदय महदेरा की जय नाथ हृदय महदेरा 
भवन तन संकतरण मंगल मूरति रूप राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय बसहू सुरूप बोलो पवन सुत हनुमान की जय सियापति रामचंद्र की जय संकट कटे मिठे सब पीरा जो सुमिरे हनुमत बल पीरा वट एवर ऑप्सिकल्स मे लाई इन योर पाथ वे समटाइम्स वी बिलीव दैट ऑप्सिकल्स आर सो बिग इट इज लाइक अ माउंटेन दिस इज व्हाट हनुमान जी डिड टेक अप द एंटायर माउंटेन दैट संजीवनी माउंटेन बी नॉट एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई द मूल सजीवन प्लांट He says, "I will not disappoint my Lord. I will not return empty-handed to my Lord. He has sent me with a mission, that is to bring back the mool sajivan. And since I cannot find a plant, I will take back the mountain and the plant." So what Hanuman Chalisa says, "Sankat katay mitay sabapira." The entire mountain becomes like a grain of dust in your hand when you have secured Hanuman Baba's blessing. So no matter, my dear friends, what you know. Appears in our pathway, whatever challenges, whatever difficulties and obstacles may appear in our pathway, as insurmountable as it may be, with Hanuman Baba's blessings, my dear friends, uh, everything becomes possible and attainable. Even that which appears to be impossible becomes possible through the grace and blessings of Sri Hanuman Ji. And so a special request has been made to listen to Hanuman Baba at that time when he opened his chest. And why did he have to do this in the first place? To open his chest to reveal that image of Ram and Sita within his heart. You know, our heart, our minds, my dear friends, reveals our innermost thoughts on our. in the most desires of a true self is reflected my dear friends and this is what hanuman ji did he revealed his true self to the entire world from yug to yug sat yug treta dwapad kali yug whom ever read this beautiful katha where hanuman ji you know opened his chest to reveal that image of ram and sita within him my dear friends it is a reminder to all of us that we too must reveal our true self there must be nothing hidden between ourselves and bhagwan there was shri ram chandra and sita devi seated upon the throne they had just returned from 14 years of exile a very trying and difficult time my dear friends they were able to overcome that difficulty they were put to severe test during that period of 14 years as you know at the first instance the kingdom was taken away from them when in shri ram was supposed to be rightfully the king of ayodhya he was told instead of becoming the king of ayodhya you have to spend 14 years in the forest as a hermit as a pauper did he complain did he quarrel did he become angry no none of the above He says, "If this is what is required of me, then I will willingly oblige to my father's request to spend these fourteen years in the forest." You know, my dear friends, sometimes changes in our lives can be very difficult for us to accept. Sometimes we complain, you know, we quarrel, we protest, we object to whatever changes come our way, and this is a very wonderful example a typical example of shri ram's willingness to accept you know changes are bound to come to all of us without exception sometimes we accept them sometimes they are positive it makes us happy and sometimes you know it is not going to be uh, positive all the time it may be negative it may be changes that we don't like at all so what do we do do we fall out with everybody do we quarrel with everybody uh, because of the changes that has occurred bhagwan says no this is not the way to go accept embrace the change that is at hand uh, and make the best of that time that is given to you this is precisely what he did he left ayodhya my dear friends together with devi sita mata and uh, lakshman 
And as we said, during that 14 years of exile, he was tested severely. From not having proper accommodation, you know, remember he was born as a prince of Ayodhya. He knew no hardship in life. He was a son of Raja Dashrat. He grew up in the angan, the, the courtyard of the palace in Ayodhya. Whatever he desired was presented to him. And now, my dear friends, this entire situation was changed. And all of that luxurious life that he had lived as a prince of Ayodhya was taken away from him. Now he lived, my dear friends, in the forest for 14 years. But even in the midst of that difficult and trying time, my dear friends, Tulsi Das describes to us that they were happier in the forest than they were in the palace with nothing, with zero. My dear friends, they found great happiness in the forest. Tulsi Das Ji says, much greater than they enjoyed in the palace. How is this possible? Sometimes we believe the more amenities, the more wealth and riches we have, the greater the happiness. This is not so, my dear friends. If you look around you, you, may, you might notice that sometimes those who are abundantly rich, filthy rich, as some people say, my dear friends, yet the happiness is on the lower scale. You know, worldwide, you look at some of the most prolific stars and so on, you know, who are multi-millionaires and they end their life by suicide and, you know, through drug use and abuse and so on. So what really brings one happiness? Right here in the Ramayana Katha tonight, it has been shown to us, my dear friends. But nothing, Sri Ramchandra and Devi Sita Mata enjoyed, my dear friends, the greatness the greatest of happiness in the forest. As this bhajan would describe to us, Naam tumhara hum rakhte hain Maan bhakt ka tum rakhte ho Aaj bacha ke suhag sati ka Mera vachan nibha sakte ho छुपे हो राजा राम राजा राम दीपक भुजा जला जा राम छुपे हो राजा राम राजा राम दीपक भुजा जला जा राम नारी से है संसार एक बिना दूजा बेकार नर नारी से है संसार एक बिना दूजा बेकार पति उस पार सती उस पार कैसे पार करे मझधार पति उस पार सती उस पार कैसे पार करे मझधार साथ मिला जा राम आ जा राम दीपक भुजा जला जा राम Raja Ram, Raja Ram, Deepak Puja, Jala Raja Ram. Roko inhi nahi jane ro, ap 
अपने घर को फिर आने दो को इन्हीं नहीं जाने दो अपने घर को फिर आने दो दो दिन तो तुम इतलाने दो एक ही दया पर इतराने दो दो दिन तो तुम इतलाने दो एक ही दया पर आ जा राम आ जा राम दीपक भुजा जला जा राम हो राजा राम आ जा राम दीपक भुजा जला जा राम राजा राम राजा राम राजा राम 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 राजा राम राजा राम राजा राम 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 सीता राम सीता राम सीता राम 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 सीता राम सीता राम सीता राम 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 प्रेम से बोले सीतापति रामचंद्र की जय कीपिंग द नेम ऑफ भगवान रेडी ऑन योर लिप्स ऑलवेज ऑन योर लिप्स वट इज ब्रिंग्स टू अस माय डियर फ्रेंड्स एस डिवोटीज इट purges our lives of all negativities and brings to that devotee success and happiness and the fulfillment of all goals and desires ro ko inhe nahi jaane do apne ghar ko phir aane do do not go astray do not move away from the feet of bhagwan by invoking the blessings of bhagwan into your home and into your life then your families and the lives of your families your home will be filled with that atmosphere of harmony and peace and tranquility and what do we desire my dear friends what do we really desire in our homes this is precisely what we're looking for that peace and happiness and tranquility every single person desires to be peaceful and to be happy but sometimes how do we go about creating that peaceful and harmonious atmosphere in our home instead of sometimes a combative and confrontational atmosphere in our homes we must set the mood and the tone right and that mood and the tone in the home my dear friends can only be set right when we have invoked the name of bhagwan into our homes and so my dear friends uh, this katha that has been requested as we have described where hanuman ji has opened his chest we're going to find out why he did this and as we revealed earlier this occurs when they have returned from those 14 years of exile very testing and difficult and trying time but they have become victorious my dear friends despite all the setbacks despite all the dangers that they encountered in that 14 years of exile they were victorious you know of the battle between shri ram and ravan you know of sita devi being held as a captive of ravan you know of shri ram's incursion into lanka what is called the ram setu that bridge that his army built my dear friend so that his thousands of soldiers could march from india to lanka which is present day sri lanka it is important for us to know and to understand and point out that a ram setu still exists today in somewhere in the 1990s the indian government wanted uh, you know in terms of shipping if they could cut across the ram sea to then it would save hours you know in shipping instead of sailing along the entire sri lanka you know and they wanted to cut a channel across the ram sea to the same bridge that was built by shri ram and uh, his army and they brought in the greatest the most powerful excavators my dear friends what they couldn't find in india they brought it in from other countries to excavate the ram sea to so that the ships can sail across the ram sea to instead of sailing across the entire peninsula 
you know, and coming across. Because you know what, Sri Lanka is just on the southern tip of India, you know. So instead of sailing across the entire Sri Lanka, they wanted to just cut the channel across the Ram Setu. So they discovered something. None of those powerful, and today we have extremely powerful equipment, you know. They say it moves mountains, isn't it? Yes. The uh, machinery we have today, excavators and what have you, very, very powerful. And it was found that these powerful excavators, my dear friends, as we say, when the ones in India couldn't work, couldn't do the job, they brought in some from outside, you know, foreign countries. And even that, they could not excavate those uh, rocks, my dear friends, that formed the Ram Situ. But we're not speaking about thousands of years now, just in the mid-90s, in 2023, you know, just in the mid-90s, just going back about 30 years ago, this happened. So they wanted to know why, what type of rock is this? And then, you know, they had to go to the Hindu texts and the Hindu scholars told them that this is not a natural uh, phenomenon. This is not a natural landform. This was put down there and, you know, there is a sand bank under the rocks eh? and when they were trying to decide how to build the bridge obviously you know they, they looked for the, the best way the most feasible way you know that would save them time so they found a sandbank and sometimes in the middle of the ocean you have sandbank so the sandbank of course gave them a certain elevation and then of course the rocks that Hanumanji and Null and Neil and Angad, Angad and Sugriva and others brought they simply placed upon the sandbank and this formed the Ram Setu and you know it, it, it history shows it was quite um, it held up well until some severe storms and cyclones and if you're familiar with that part of the world they don't call them hurricane they call them cyclones it's the same thing and if, you have, if you have a category five you know washing across the area it's going to just dump a whole lot of sand and so on onto the the, the Ram Setu so my dear friends, suffice it to say, this Ram Situ still exists today. Um, obviously over the passage of thousands of years, it has been eroded with the action of the waters and so on. But those uh, uh, individuals who try to cut a part across the Ram Setu for sailing purposes, sailing the ships and so on, found out that this was no ordinary landform. And so it was studied, it was decided. Of course, we know from our texts, Ramayana, that it is not a natural landform, but of course it was man-made by Sri Ram and his army, my dear friends. Uh, they made this Ram Setu, which still exists today. So all of this they accomplished, my dear friends, uh, and of course they won that battle against Ravan, and now they're seated upon um, the throne of Ayodhya, and Sri Ram at his side is Sita Devi, and Vibhishan is about to present a gift to Sita Devi. We shall find out what this gift is. सुखदायक रतनों को माल 
जानकी देवी गले में डाल दी विशाल ज्योति हुई कि कोई राजा सन्मुख दृष्ट करके नहीं देख सकता था मैं जय फ्रेंड्स अपॉन द थ्रोन ऑफ अयोध्या आफ्टर दोज फोर्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ एग्जाइल श्री राम गिव मैनी वंडरफुल कथा एंड डिस्कोर्सिस टू डोज हु आर असेंबल देयर टू गेट दर्शन ऑफ जगत पिता एंड जगत जननी यूनिवर्सल मदर एंड फादर श्री रामचंद्र एंड देवी सीता माता He says to them, "The performance of dharma is utmost. It's our greatest duty to perform that duty, which is assigned to us, whomever we are. Dharma is not just about the puja and the havan and the satsang and the yagya, my dear friends. Dharma includes who we are as individuals and what duties that are assigned to us." when as a parent as a mother or father you perform your duties in the home towards your children and so on that too is part of your dharma when as a husband as a wife you perform your duties and responsibilities that too is part of your dharma when as a child you perform your duties in respect and adoration to the home and to the parents that too is part of your dharma when as hindus we come to satsang to attend a uh, puja and satsang and yagya and so on that too is part of our dharma dharma is all inclusive my dear friends it reflects who we are and not you know our behavior and so on and so he identifies to all who are there that you know the importance of understanding your dharma embrace your duties do not shirk your responsibilities in no form or fashion and so my dear friends many beautiful discourses and kathans on went on and in the midst of that vibhishan is about to present the gift of the ratan mal a most precious necklace to devi sita mata this necklace tulsidas ji maharaj describes is beyond descriptions exquisitely beautiful the moment vibhishan held up this uh, ratan mal my dear friends amongst the courtyard and those who assembled in the courtyard of the palace of bhagwan shri ramchand a gasp of amazement you know was heard as they saw this exquisitely beautiful uh, precious necklace that vibhishan handed as a gift to sita devi and she held the ratan mal in her hand she turned to shri ram and without speaking my dear friends a certain communication took place sometimes a lot could be said my dear friends without any words being spoken and between shri ram chandra and devi sita mata they had that level of understanding this gift they wanted to give to someone and shri ram said to her sita give it to someone to someone who is selfless give it to someone who is devoted and dedicated give it to someone o city who is who has always demonstrated a certain amount of willingness to engage in seva give it to someone o city who is firm and unwavering in his belief and his dedication and his devotion of course we all know who that someone is but my dear friends what he is describing to sita devi is what we should all be yes we know that someone is hanuman baba we know that he was you know always ready and willing to serve shri ram no matter what was presented to him he never said no no was not in his vocabulary even when you know his life was at risk and danger my dear friend still he says yes i will do it that firmness to always be you know ready and willing to serve that selflessness that he speaks of my dear friends all of us should embody those wonderful qualities that he is saying to sita devi look for someone in this audience who possesses all of these qualities these are the qualities my dear friends that hanuman ji possesses 
And these are the qualities and the characteristics that we should all seek to embody in our lives as well. It is useful not just in the religious sphere of our lives, but those characteristics that Hanumanji possessed, my dear friends, he was driven, you know, by that desire to always, you know, help, to be selfless. You know, we know more of selfishness in today's world rather than selflessness. But Hanumanji was a true selfless individual. And it is these qualities, my dear friends, that are lacking and missing, you know, in our communities and our villages and, you know, in the nation by extension. These qualities are what are missing, my dear friends. It is, you, it is what used to exist, exist with great prevalence years ago that really united our people. You know, that so that if there was an a event in the village, the entire village came together, you know, because everyone wanted to help. Everybody wanted to serve. What can I do, you know? And those who are old enough will remember a time, you know, whether it was a wedding, whether it was a puja, a yagya, you know, you didn't have to ask for help. The entire village came out to help. Now, you know how it goes. If you don't pay, then there's no help, you know. So we have lost my dear friends, some of that willingness. We have lost some of that selflessness that, her, that um, Sri Dham is saying. Siti, search for someone. Think of someone in the audience here who possesses all of these qualities and give this gift of this Ratan Mal to that individual. Bharat Bhai Kapi se urna ham rahi 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 Bharat bhai कभी से उड़न हम नहीं कभी से उड़न हम नहीं कभी से उड़न हम नहीं कभी से उड़न सौयोजन मरियाद समुद्र की सौयोजन मरियाद समुद्र की ये पूरी गयो छन माही सौयोजन When Sita Devi was being held as a captive of Ravan in Lanka, Hanuman Swami crossed the ocean 6,000 miles, my dear friend, Sao Yojan, across the ocean to go to Lanka to fearlessly enter into the nest, into the den of Rakshasas to rescue Sita Devi. सौयोजन मरियाद समुद्र की ये कूद गयो छंद माही लंका जाई सिया सुधिलायो लंका जाई सिया सुधिलायो पर घर भन ही मन माही कपी से उड़ी हम नहीं भरत 
लक्ष्मण को शक्ति बान लग्यो लक्ष्मण को शक्ति बान लग्यो लक्ष्मण को हा हा पार भयो मन माही धौला गिरी पर धर ले आयो धौला गिरी पर भर ले आयो भोर ना होने आई कपी से उड़ी में हम नाही धरत भाई कपी से उड़ी में हम नाही कपी से उड़ी रावण की पूजा उखारी अहिरावन की पूजा उखारी अहिरावन की पूजा उखारी बैठ गयो मध्य माही जो भैया जो भैया अही रावण हैड टेकन श्री राम एंड लक्ष्मण फ्रॉम द बैटल फील्ड दिस वॉज ड्यूरिंग द कॉस ऑफ द बैटल बिटवीन श्री राम एंड रावण एंड ही हैड हेल्ड दम एस प्रिसनर्स इन पाटालु एनी वन हु कुड साइन मल्टेनियसली एक्सटिंग्विश Five lamps, four cardinal directions, and one facing Akash towards the sky, would be the one who would be successful in rescuing Sri Ram and Lakshman and defeating Ahirava. And it is here that Hanuman ji took part Mukhi, Hanuman form, with the five faces, my dear friends, and descending into Patalok, he extinguished those five lamps. He destroyed Ahiravan and freed Sri Ram and Lakshman. And so he says, "Jo bhaiya hanumat nahi hoti, wo bhaiya." He said to Bharat, "It is because of this I consider Hanuman Swami as being dear to me as life itself, because of this fearlessness and this selflessness and this dedication." अहिरावन की भुजा उखारी बैठ गयो मध्य माही जो भैया जो भैया जो भैया हनुमत नहीं होते जो भैया हनुमत नहीं होते मोहे तो लाखों जग कपी से उड़ी में हम नाही भरत भाई कपी से उड़ी में हम नाही कपी से उड़ी में हम नाही से उड़ी में हम नाही भरत भाई कपी से उड़ी में हम
आज्ञा भंग कब हूँ नहीं पीली जहाँ पथायु दाह जाई आज्ञा भंग कब हूँ नहीं पीली जहाँ पथायु दाह जाई चुलसीदास 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 पवन सुख महिमा चुलसीदास पवन सुख महिमा प्रभु निज मुख पर कपि से प्रेम सुरेश पवन पुत्र हनुमान की जय सो माई डेयर फ्रेंड्स रिमेंबर सीता देवी हैज रिसीव द गिफ्ट द रतन माल फ्रॉम विभीषण एंड दे आर डिसाइडिंग वट टू डू विद दिस गिफ्ट एंड श्री राम हैज आइडेंटिफाइड टू सीता देवी सिट इन कलेक्टरिस्टिक्स दट यू शुड लुक फॉर ओ सी टी वेन यू गिफ्ट दिस गिफ्ट टू समन इन दिस टॉप आई वी शुड फाइंड आउट precisely whom she give gives this gift to and what of course becomes of this precious ratan man कही कपि निज हृदय बिहारा रोम रोम प्रभु नाम उरारा 
अंकित राम नाम सब तारी लखी सब छकित भये मन माही अनसुमा डेयर डिवोटीज सीता देवी लुक स्माइलिंगली अट हनुमान स्वामी ही इज कॉल्ड राम दूत राम दास द सर्वंत ऑफ भगवान श्री रामचंद्र द मैसेंजर ऑफ भगवान श्री रामचंद्र and if you ever look at the picture you will see him you know perhaps sometimes kneeling in front of shri ram and sita devi and gazing you know at their divine form and this he is always doing and so she did not have to actually call him he was looking on my dear friends he saw when this ratan mal was given to her and tulsida she described smilingly she looks at hanuman swami and my dear friends he came and he knelt before jagat janani sita devi and of course she gave this wonderful ratan mal this exquisitely beautiful necklace to hanuman swami and he was beside himself with happiness you know to receive any gift from bhagwan shri ramchandra and sita devi was a you know a great joy for him to receive you know just being in the presence was you know a gift enough and now receiving this ratan mal and so he began to scrutinize that the ratan mal very carefully he looked at it you know my dear friends he turned it around and you know looked at it from all angles trying to t- to determine what was so special about this um ratan mal and when he did not see anything to interest him my dear friends on the outside he p- perhaps thought that there was something of value on the inside now it depends on what measure you're looking to put value to and in today's world of course just looking at the beautiful <clears throat> exquisite jewelry that would be value enough for us But Hanuman ji was looking for something far more valuable my dear friends You know Bharat had said when uh Shri Ram and Lakshman and Sita Devi had left for the forest he had said aha dhanya lakshmana barabhagi Ram padad bindu anuragi how fortunate is lakshman for he has this great fortune this great opportunity to accompany shri ram to the forest now if you compare them both bharat had the opportunity to stay in ayodhya and to become the king of ayodhya and to have all the wealth and riches of ayodhya at his disposal what did lakshman have he had absolutely nothing Lakshman was the one who spent many many years my dear friends undergoing what we would perceive to be hardship He would walk in front of Shri Ram and Sita Devi and cut the pathway for them because some parts of the forest was overgrown you know with bushes and so on He would ensure that they were safe whilst they slept you know that you know the snakes and scorpions and tigers and lions and so on did not attack them while they slept so lakshman spent his time in seva to shri ram so why does bharat say how fortunate is he for he had the good fortune of accompanying shri ram to the forest in today's world we might say bharat was a lucky one for he had the opportunity to get the entire kingdom which he did not take obviously so it depends on how you value that wealth and that fortune and in this case my dear friends of course we know hanuman swami is not looking at the monetary value of that but he is looking for something far more valuable far more special and so to the amazement of all who were gathered there he began to break apart the beads and these precious gems he would bag them open when he did not see anything my dear friends again of value he would toss it aside and when he had done that 
my dear friends, for some time, virtually destroying this uh, uh, precious necklace. Someone asked, Upavan Putra, do you know the value of that necklace that you are destroying? And he says, this has no value to me if it does not have Ram and Sita in it. Manumanji, do you have Ram and Sita in you? And this is where my dear friends, Chira Kechati say he opened his chest to reveal that image of Ram and Sita within his heart. More than that, Roma Roma me in every pore of his being. My dear friends, he was able to manifest that image of Ram and Sita within his heart. Those who were there, my dear friends, stood in awe, in amazement, in wonder, as he saw the true devotion, the powerful devotion of Hanuman Swami revealed to them. मेरे मन में बसे है राम मेरे तन में बसे है राम छीर के छाती बोले अपनी पावन पुत्र हनुमान मेरे मन में बसे है राम मेरे तन में बसे है राम मेरे मन में बसे है राम मेरे तन में बसे है राम शीर के छाती बोले अपनी पवन पुत्र हनुमान मेरे मन में बसे है राम मेरे तन में बसे है राम मेरे मन में बसे है राम मेरे तन में बसे है राम हर मुखिया रावण में प्रभु जी थे बुलाए हनुमान ने जीता जी को प्रभु संदेश सुनाए सीता हर मुखिया रावण में प्रभु जी थे बुलाए हनुमान ने सीता जी प्रभु संदेश प्रभु संदेश सुनाए हनुमान जी करते आए प्रभु जी के दुलदान मेरे मन में बसे है राम मेरे तन में बसे है राम मेरे मन में बसे है राम मेरे तन में बसे है राम चीर के छाती बोले अपनी पवन पुत्र हनुमान मेरे मन में बसे है राम मेरे तन में बसे है राम लक्ष्मण जी को शक्ति एक प्रभु घबराए एक प्रभु घबराए लगी लक्ष्मण जी को शक्ति एक प्रभु घबराए भोर से पहले हनुमान जी हौला गिर लहराए उठ गए थे लक्ष्मण जी लेकर श्री राम का नाम मेरे मन में बसे है राम मेरे तन में बसे है राम मेरे मन में बसे है राम मेरे तन में बसे है राम चीर के छाती बोले अपने पवन पुत्र हनुमान मेरे मन में बसे है राम मेरे तन में बसे है राम मेरे मन में बसे है राम मेरे तन में बसे है राम से ना देख के रावण की से ना घबराए फलक छपक के हनुमान ने लंका आग लगाए वानर से ना देख के रावण की से ना घबराए फलक छपक के हनुमान ने लंका आग लगाए बोले प्रभु के साथ मिटाकर रावण का अभिमान 
मेरे मन में बसे हैरान मेरे तन में बसे हैरान मेरे मन में बसे हैरान मेरे तन में बसे हैरान शीर के छाती बोले अपनी पवन पुत्र हनुमान मेरे मन में बसे हैरान मेरे तन में बसे हैरान मेरे मन में बसे हैरान मेरे तन में बसे हैरान मेरे मन में बसे हैरान मेरे तन में बसे हैरान बोल पवन पुत्र हनुमान की जय इन अदर वर्ड्स माय डियर फ्रेंड्स हनुमान जी प्रिफर्ड टू सोर्स हिज हैप्पीनेस फ्रॉम द एवर लास्टिंग फाउंटेन ऑफ आनंद that joy and bliss my dear friends you know in ram valmiki sambhad that is when shri ram met met with valmiki muni valmiki muni would have said to him prabhu take up your abode in the hearts of those people whose eyes are like that of the chatak bird this bird does not drink water from the pond or the river or the lake as the case may be but it looks up only at the clouds and it is only when the rain begins to fall from the clouds itself does the chatak bird quench its thirst it is not that the water in the pond or the river cannot quench its thirst but you would understand that that water has become contaminated have been coming to contact with the earth and run off and so on into the rivers and lakes that has been contaminated and so it would quench its thirst only from the purity of the rain water and not from the normal sources and so on that we have around us similarly this is what hanuman ji is teaching us in this katha as well tonight that the necklace was exquisitely beautiful yes it had a lot of monetary value to that necklace we understand that but my dear friends those who are searching for that true spirituality that divine connection my dear friends just like the chatak bird does my dear friends looking up only at the heavens and quenching its thirst only from the rain water just as hanuman ji discarding the ratan mal and of course looking inwards revealing that image of ram and sita within his heart this is what we seek to do as well that you know we too are surrounded by many things that brings us a certain degree of comfort and happiness but all of these my dear friends leads us into further temptation and that engaging us in that desire spiral instead we turn to the lotus like feet of bhagwan we derive all of our joy and happiness my dear friends in devotion to him as in satsang here tonight in puja and yagya and so on for the happiness that you de you derive here that you attain here you benefit from that here as well as in the hereafter tat swarga pavarga sukha dhare tulai ka ang consider the scale as tulsi das she says If on one side of that scale you put all the joys and happiness of this material world, on the other side you put joy and happiness of one moment satsang, one moment's devotion to God. He says that one moment of devotion to God would outweigh all the joys and happiness of, uh, you know, human uh, desires and and so on. Because that side, the material side, has only a single benefit. Whilst we are here. Whilst we're alive in this world, but the spiritual side, my dear friends, uh, such as what you're spending two hours of devotion here with this family tonight, you benefit from that here. But the punya, the benefit and blessings, my dear friends, derived here would also accompany you into the afterworld. So every time you come to satsang, puja, and so on, you are making a deposit into the spiritual bank account. you know and that's the only one we have access to when we leave this world that's the only one that can benefit us my dear friends when we leave this world and this bhajan that we sing describes exactly as we discussing of these two pathways 
As Hanumanji clearly demonstrates, which one do we choose? Dorang dunia ke aur do raaste. The choice is ours, obviously, my dear friends. Ek hai se log wo jo auro ki khater jeete hai. One is covered with flowers. One pathway is covered with flowers. This is the one that leads us back to Bhagwan's heavenly abode. Dusre wo jo apni khater apno ka kuhi pite hai. The other is covered with thorns. This leads us down into narak, into suffering and difficulty. Choose wisely, as Hanumanji points out to us, as a chartak bird reminds us. समझ के पाव रखे समझा दो हरे दीवाने को समझा दो हरे दीवाने को एक रस्ता मंदिर को जाए एक जाए नहीं खाने को एक जाए नहीं खाने को रस्ता भूल न जाए राही को खाना खाए दो रंग दुनिया के और दो रास्ते दो रूप जीवन के जिन्हें के वास्ते दो रंग दुनिया के और दो रास्ते से लोग वो जो औरों की खातिर जीते हैं औरों की खातिर जीते हैं दूसरे वो जो अपनी खातिर अपनों का खून पीते हैं अपनों का खून पीते हैं कोई फूल खिलाए कोई बातें दिखाए रंग दुनिया के और दो रास्ते दो रूप जीवन के जिन्हें के वास्ते दो रंग दुनिया के और दो रास्ते और दो रास्ते और दो रास्ते Choose wisely, my dear friends, the very important message in our Katha tonight. Now I'll stop my Katha at this stage. I was given a request list here of bhajans, and I've sung quite a few already, but there are three bhajans which I have not as yet sung out of this list. And of course, we want to ensure we cover all the bhajans that have been requested. And you know, it's very nice when devotees, when shrutas can, you know, put some thought into their satsang, you know, 
This is like virtually customizing one's satsang. You know, people like to customize their home and customize their cars and so on. I appreciate this, for this is like customizing your own satsang, you know, putting some thought into, you know, what you want to listen, the katha was requested, you know, and also the bhajans. And I must say, you know, all the bhajans requested has fitted so nicely into the katha, my dear friends. But of course, these three did not really, you know, feature into the katha itself. So we just sing these three bhajans as, you know, um, just request. And of course, one of course is a Krishna bhajan, Hide Kanheya, glorifying that Divine Lord Kanheya, Krishna Bhagwan. Hire Kanheya, Kisko Kahega to Maya. Hire Kanheya, Kisko Kahega to Maya. Jis me tujhe ko janam diya re, Jis me tujhe ko pala Kanheya. Isko kahega tu meya, tere kanheya. Isko kahega tu meya. Mani mani taaye aur devi dev puje, fir sahi dev dini. Dudh me mehlane ka, dudh me khilane ka, Sukh paaya yashura ji me. Ek ne tujh ko jeevan diya re, Ek ne jeevan samhala kanhaiya. Isko kahega tu meya, Mere kanhaiya. Isko kahega tu meya Jis ne tujh ko janam diya re Jis ne tujh ko pala kanhaiya Isko kahega tu meya Mere kanhaiya Isko kahega tu meya मरने के डर से ये जदिया घर से देव की मेरे वो पुल में जीना जिया धर्म यशोरा बने माता चुछ कुछ पाया आचल में एक ने तन को रूप दिया रे एक ने मन को धाला कन्हैया इसको कहेगा तू मैया मेरे कन्हैया इसको कहेगा तू मैया जिसने तुझको जन्म दिया दे जिसने तुझको पाला कन्हैया इसको कहेगा तू मैया मेरे किसको कहेगा तू मैया मेरे कन्हैया किसको कहेगा तू मैया बोलिए श्री बिंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय ऑफ कोर्स कन्हैया बहुत ग्रेट हैप्पीनेस टू हिज मदर यशोदा एंड ऑफ कोर्स टू द Gopis and the cowherds in Brindaban. (laughs) 
गुरु चरणन सिर के बिनवती दो कर जोर आय शिव शंकर के चरण में लाज रहे कैलाशपति महाराज आज कैलाशपति महाराज आज शंकर शिव बम बम भोला शंकर शिव बम बम भोला कैलाशपति महाराज आज शंकर शिव बम बम भोला शंकर शिव बम बम में जिनके तंग विराजे सर्व अंग में सर्व विराजे छता में जिनके तंग विराजे सर्व अंग में सर्व विराजे सबके रंग में शंभ हमारे सबके रंग में शंभु हमारे हेमृग छाला वाली आज शंकर शिव बम बम भोला शंकर शिव बम बम भोला कैलाशपति महाराज आज शंकर शिव बम बम भोला शंकर शिव बम बम भोला कैलाश बुलालो हर पद के दिखारो शंभु हमें कैलाश बुलालो हर पद के हिरोन दर्श दिखारो नाम तुम्हारा दिल में बसा लो नाम तुम्हारा दिल में बसा लो बहुत माने वाली शंकर शिव बम बम भोला शंकर शिव बम बम भोला कैलाश पति महाराज आज शंकर शिव बम बम भोला शंकर शिव बम बम भोला में दुख आप हरे हो आपन पुन संसार भरे हो में दुख आप हरे हो आपन पुन संसार भरे हो यही पुजारी आस रहे हो यही पुजारी आस रहे हो सुन हो कारण वाले आज शंकर शिव बम बम भोला शंकर शिव बम बम भोला कैलाश पति महाराज आज शंकर शिव बम बम भोला शंकर शिव बम बम भोला कैलाश पति महाराज आज शंकर शिव बम बम भोला श्रीमापति महादेव की जय right and there's one more bhajan on the request list and we see that a lot of thought and effort went into this um preparation for the satsang not just in terms of the physical preparation but of course uh, um deciding you know what to what bhajans and kathan song to listen to and to be read and this final bhajan aisi lagi lagan मेरा हो गया ये मगन 
And after this, we shall go into the final havan. Hey, Akubo. Hey, Akubo. जो शाम का दर्शन किया करे है शीश जो प्रभु चरण में बंधन किया करे है आँख वो जो शाम का दर्शन किया करे है शीश जो प्रभु चरण में बंधन किया करे हीरे मोती से नहीं हीरे मोती से नहीं शोभा है हाथ की है हाथ जो भगवान का पूजन किया करे मर कर भी अमर नाम है इस जीव का जग में प्रभु प्रेम से बलिदान दो जीवन की आखरे ऐसी लादी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन ऐसी लादी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन वो तो गली गली हरी गुल गाने लगी महलों में गली बनके जो गली चली महलों में गली बनके जो गली चली मेरा रानी दीवानी कहाने लगी ऐसी लगी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन कोई रोके नहीं कोई रोके नहीं मेरा गोविंद गोपाल गाने लगी कोई रोके नहीं कोई रोके नहीं मेरा गोविंद गोपाल गाने लगी बेची संतोष संत रंगीलो हम रंग मेरा प्रेमी तन को मनाने लगी वो तो गली गली हरी गुल गाने लगी ऐसी लादी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन वो तो गली गली हरी गुल गाने लगी महलों में पड़ी बन के जो गली चली मेरा रानी दीवानी कहाने लगी ऐसी लादी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन राना ने विष दिया मानो अमृत दिया मेरा सागर सरिता समान लगी राना ने विष दिया मानो अमृत दिया मेरा सागर सरिता समान लगी दुख लाभो सहे मुक्ष दो कहे मेरा प्रेमी तन को मनाने लगी वो तो गली गली हरी गुल गाने लगी ऐसी लादी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन वो तो गली गली हरी गुल गाने लगी महलों में गली बनके जो गली चली मेरा रानी दीवानी कहाने लगी ऐसी लादी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन ऐसी लादी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन 
Premis Vole Sita Pati Rama Chandra Ki Jai. So we'll invite the shoulder to come back to the stage here for the final havan. We we'll invite Pandit Vinayak to perform the final havan. I see one of our group members sitting on a chair. You know, I know the stage is a little bit small, Vinayaka, but we want to invite you to come closer to the stage. So Vinayaka will do a bhajan while Pandit Vinayak is performing the final havan with our shrota. Sitaram, everyone. Bajrang Bali Meri Lav Chali Karuna Kar Paar Laga Dila Karuna Kar Paar Laga Dila Three. 
बोल पवन पुत्र हनुमान की जय इट इज पॉइंट इन टाइम खरा हो जाए लेट इज ऑल स्टैंड फॉर रामायण आरती Shri 
to land of our devotions here tonight. Let us bow our heads now in this final prayer. We give thanks to Bhagwan for his wonderful blessings that has enabled us all to come together tonight and join him together with members of this family in this evening's uh, satsang. We pray that Hanuman Baba's blessings, the blessings of Bhagwan Sri Ramchandra, it always be bestowed upon members of this family and indeed all who have come together tonight and been part of this devotion. May your Lord continue to safeguard us and protect us against all dangers and difficulties. Mantra Hinam Kriya Hinam Bhakti Hinam Janadhanam Yatpujitam Ayadevam Paripuranam tadastine Tvameva mata cha pita tvameva Tvameva bandhusya sakha tvameva Tvameva vidyadravinam tvameva Tvameva sarvam mama deva deva Om shanti 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 hariyo बोले श्री गजानन स्वामी की उमापति महादेव की पवन सुत हनुमान की श्री वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की उदय सा जगन्नाथ की बोलो भाई सब संतन की कलेक्टिवली इन लॉन्ड टोन ऑफ वॉइस श्री सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय जय सीताराम आंसर लीजिए कानी बी सीटेड वोटी सो यू रिसीव योर आरती एंड योर परसाद एंड ऑफ कोर्स भोजन हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड फॉर यू Please partake of these before departing to respective abodes. Sankia Television is not only the first Hindu TV station in Trinidad and Tobago, but Sankia TV also has the most coverage. You can find Sankhya TV on Facebook by searching for Sankhya Television. There you can view Sankhya TV Facebook Lives for all exclusive programming and all Sankhya TV playlists where you will find previously aired Yagnas. By liking and following the Sankhya TV Facebook page, you will be notified every time Sankhya TV goes live.
for your daily dose of inspiration, you can visit Sankhya TV's video playlist by visiting the Facebook page, click on videos and simply scroll down and view at your heart's content. Sankhya TV, the first Hindu TV station in Trinidad and Tobago and your number one choice for cultural, inspirational and spiritual programming. Sankhya Television is not only the first Hindu TV station in Trinidad and Tobago, but Sankhya TV also has the most coverage. Sankhya TV covers events held by all branches of Hinduism, thus making the reach of Sankhya TV far and wide. Our advertisers not only benefit from the most competitive advertising packages on the market, but our viewership base is so diverse that your message is sure to reach its target audience. So call right now at 225-2770-339-6122-750-3329 or email at info at sanketv.com to find out how you can benefit from our competitive advertising packages. Good day, my name is Omkar, inviting you to join me every Thursday afternoon from 5.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. For my program Diksha. On Diksha we take a look at the universal principles and relate them to our everyday life so that we may live happy and healthy lifestyles. So once again every Thursday from 5 30 p.m. to 6 p.m. right here on Sankhya Television. Today on Diksha why we live in fear 